Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and today I'm coming at you with my Bricks by the Bay 2015 LEGO haul. And this is probably my largest LEGO haul I have ever done. And you can see here, this is actually the table where my LEGO City is, and it is completely packed with sets, minifigs, poly bags, everything. So, Definitely quite a massive haul, so let's get straight into it. And so first off, I just wanted to tell you, um, of all these prizes, there's of course, we have um, sets from raffles, we have sets that I bought, I even have event kits, everything we got in the um, bags, like event bags and all. I also have, of course, stuff from like the Dirty Brickster, um, speed build so everything is here that I've won bought or won so definitely very large haul here and so without further ado let's get into this huge haul All right so we'll start off here with our right side of the haul and so first off here we got two of these Lego whiplash spinners here and this was part of Dirty Brickster and actually with that we won a um, another Ninjago set. This is the um, Hover Hunter with Cole. And then we also got um, as part of the speed build here. This is um, the Chima um, speed ore. The Raven speed ore. So this was part of the junior speed build here. And then moving along here we got... Three of these um, build it again with bricks goodie bags which contain random parts. So all three have some random parts in them. As you can see there. And then moving along from Cal Brick Shop, we got three free minifigures. We got Pac Hop. We got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles foot soldier. As well as our... Emmett. So these were three free figures which we got as part of coupons from um, the actual bag which we received. Then moving along here just to show off this is my badge. We have of course my um, Brick Wizard 59 tile, have my helmets, my tile uh, printed and decal tiles, and of course Bricks by the Bay 2014 and Bricks by the Bay 2015. So that's my badge. And so we'll actually move on here to the top. I did get this um, Lego um, Gar uh, not uh, Galaxy Squad set. Has a pretty cool fig in there. And this is only like six bucks, so not too bad. Moving along here, we were able to pick up two of these. Dracula pins because the year the theme this year was monsters so definitely a um, pretty cool uh, pin here and so again we were able to pick up two of those and those were free as well moving along here we were able to pick up a couple of these skeleton figures um, these were part of the event um, bag as well moving down we got uh, three of these uh, Brooks by the Bay official minifigures and these are in the monster theme as well So it has the printed torso Bricks by the Bay 2015 So that's very cool as well Moving along we got and um, three of these very cool uh, little mini game figures here and these are the um, Brooks by the Bay monster themed figures All right, so that's Pretty much all that we got in um, free uh, event kit stuff over here. And so we'll now move on here to the bottom section over here. And we'll start off actually here on this side. We got two minifigures here. Uh, three actually. Um, from the trading minifigure trading event. We got our mechanic, our driller, and lord business. So those were some very cool figures as they were also again part of the minifigure trading event. Moving down here, we got this figure, couple bucks, not too bad. Has a pretty nice torso there and a nice headpiece as well. Moving along, we got a saxophone player and this one is actually pretty hard to find. 
as bricks for Chris has actually been stocking up on tons of these for his older sick fig. So another very cool fig and actually this helps me complete bricks for Chris's uh, sick fig. Moving up here, another awesome purchase. We got the original Spider-Man from the actual movies. And I just didn't like that um, Spider-Man from the newer uh, cartoon version here. So I did pick this one up. It's a bit tough to see here as the camera is not focusing the best. But this was a very cool figure. Next to it here we got two light up figures. Luminara and Dooley. As you can see right there. And a definitely a very very cool figure right there. As well as Obi-Wan Kenobi here. And you can see the figure here. With a light up a lightsaber as well. So these are some great figures. And actually now I have every single Lego Star Wars light up figure ever made. Moving up here we got a Anakin from the um, minifigure trading event. And this will help me actually complete the set which is back there. And I'll show you that in a bit. And then I did pick up a Master Yoda for $5 which was a pretty good deal. Um, so yeah, Master Yoda. Now I have all versions of Yoda as well. And now we'll actually move on here to this section right here. Um, and so we'll start off here. Couple more minifigure trades. We got our... Um, Galactic Soldier here, you could see right there, as well as, um, this was actually part of a minifigure packet, so they were actually selling um, sealed minifigure packs, $5 of all the series, and I felt through series 3, I believe, and was able to pick up the baseball player, I love the bat here, so this is a great figure here, the baseball player. Then moving up here, this was from another shop. This is a custom uh, little uh, piece here. Not too sure what that is. Um, and then also we got two of these little armor, uh, body armor pieces with the R in it. And then this was actually free as part of one of the event um, bags. Brick Arms Crate. And it's full of Brick Arms weapons. So the we weapons we got here. We got this little... Uh, Weapon here, not too sure what that's called. Right there. And we also got a another machine gun styled weapon right here. And also a sniper in the translucent blue color. So that's definitely very, very interesting here. Um, so that was actually, again, free with one of the event kits. And then... Probably the best deal of the convention. This is the Luke Skywalker from the 2003 Cloud City set. And this figure, which sells usually 80 plus dollars, I found this for two dollars in this bag. Just two, and it wasn't a mistake on price. He was selling it actually for two dollars, and so I picked it up. So an 80 dollar figure for two dollars. So that is incredible, probably the best deal ever. Um, anyways, so that's going to do it for this section of the haul. And now we'll move on to the middle section, then the end, and then the big sets in the back. Alright, so here we have our next section, and this is basically the poly bag section. And so these poly bags here are also all free from our event bag. And so we got a Umbaran HMC poly bag here from Star Wars. And two of these friends poly bags here. This is the, well, it doesn't have a name. It's like a speedboat. And this actually has some pretty cool pieces here. So I might open one or and keep one sealed. So that's pretty cool. And then we got tons of mixels here. Five different mixels packs here. You can see here is our first one here. Um, this is here as I'll zoom in. We got torts. Then we also have our second one here. This is rocket. Third one here we have foot footy. Um, not too familiar with these names. 
Number four, we got Scorpy, another interesting set. In five, we got this wizard one, um, Magnifo, Magnifo. So this is another interesting Mixel set. And then we'll just quickly take a look at these two here. These are just um, a few parts from our badges, um, as you could see here. As this was actually to build this uh, dragon style um, thing for your badge. And so yeah, that's all for this section. And now let's take a look at our last section. So here is our final section. First off, we got three of these very interesting bands. So these are bands you wear around your wrist. And you can put Lego on them. So these were again free with our event um, bag. And we'll actually move here to the top. They had the bulk piece um, booth here. And so you can see I got tons of bulk pieces here. Tons of these pieces. Tons of transparent tan. Tons of printed pieces. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get into as much detail as I can here without opening them. And that was for $3. This one was also for $3. We got parts of the 2005 Swamp Speeder, some sticker pieces, um, tan pieces, got a nice keep out sticker. So this was great, even the Hogwarts Castle roof. So this was very awesome. Um, and again, that was all for $6. So tons of pieces. Even got some of the older Batman uh, stickered pieces here. And then base plates. I stacked up on my base plates, actually most of which on the last day. We got a large 16 by 38, which is the half-sized gray, light gray base plate for $2. It was actually a 4 here, but I got him down to 2, so that was awesome. And then here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of these half green colored base plates. So that was awesome. Below that, we got here tons of the dark green base plates, and luckily, they were uh, same price, $5. Actually, one of them was three, but sadly, the f that sell uh, vendor only had one. But four base plates, one of which was $3, the other three here were um, five. And sadly, this was like the only blue base plate in the convention, which was... A bit disappointing, but this is the thir uh, f mm, the blue base plate here, 36 by 36, and this is of course for the beach. So those were our base plates. And so that's going to do it for our bit smaller section, and now let's get on to the fun larger sets right now. Alright, so we'll start off here with our right section over here. And actually, first off, this is not exactly Lego. But here we have a, this like Lego candy. Um, it's like a thing you build and then you can eat it. So that was our first item here. And then we got ourselves a, um, what is this? Death Star Troopers Battle Pack as part of the Dirty Brickster. So that was very, very cool. Moving along in the back, we got Yes, the exosuit. Having wanted this set for some time, and uh, I pulled the trigger as it was $35, which was original retail price. So this is a sealed set. Definitely going to get to building that soon. And then, of course, Star Wars. First off here, we got Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. These are all the parts for the Interceptor itself, but not the Vulture Droid. And it didn't include the figures, but I actually do have Anakin, his figure right here from the minifigure trading event. So that was awesome. And this was only four bucks for the fighter. So I definitely a great deal here. And then moving along here, we got a sealed set. That's right. This is the 2003 um, Jabba's Prize set with Han Solo. The Gamorrean Guard and Boba Fett. A great set. This is completely sealed. And I will be opening it. As this was actually originally like $40. But I got it for $30. So I bargained it down. And definitely a great deal. As I actually looked on eBay. And this sells for $30 used. 
So, yep, that was a very good deal as well. And I will be having a review on this set in which I will be opening it and doing a speed build. So stay tuned for that in the future um, days. So that's all for this section. And we'll actually now move on to our center section. All right, so here is our center section here. And first off, we'll start off here with a smaller LEGO Star Wars set. This is the Emperor um, Final Duel 1, I believe, with the Emperor and Darth Vader. And he actually gave me two manuals as well. So this was about $14, which was a pretty good deal. You can see the figs here in the front. And so, yeah. And actually, we'll move here. We got the Bricks by the Bay 2015 event kit. And this is a dragon, so a very, very cool um, kit here. I'm definitely going to build that. Tell me if you want me to do a review on this kit. Still not sure if I should do that, but definitely I'm going to try and build one of these up. And so we again got two of those. And now we got our final three sets, which are the largest sets here. And actually, we'll start off here um, with our Galaxy Squad set. And this was actually one in a raffle. Um, it's quite big here. It's the Hive Crawler. Pretty interesting set here. It has a bit bug style creature. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this Galaxy Squad, but you know, I'll still build it probably. And then actually here, let me just move around to the other side. Um, so this set, I know it isn't coming in the um, video um, fully. But we got this one. This is the Hurricane Heist right there. Uh, another set I won in the raffle. So you're trying to get a good view of it. Two big sets in the raffle. And the final set here, I know it's not in the screen. But this is the 2003 Jabba's Palace. You can see Jabba there. And this set was $50 for a set that usually costs $80. I got it for $50. So that was the actually the biggest um, purchase I made. So I know it wasn't, I didn't go like overload as I thought I would. So $50 is the largest purchase I've made. Everything else I have gotten through raffles. Every other set that's bigger than $50. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this mega haul. From Bricks by the Bay 2015. And that's going to do it for the, my Bricks by the Bay 2015 Lego haul. And once again, this is my biggest haul. And actually, uh, just doing a bit of calculations here. Um, out of all these sets, everything here cost me little under $200. So definitely... That was awesome, didn't spend too much money, and I got quite a bit of Lego. So that was awesome here, and of course the raffles definitely helped out, as actually both of those are actually $70 sets, so that was awesome. And yeah, so that's all for this Lego Bricks by the Bay 2015 haul. So that's awesome, stay tuned for the reviews on all, four, all three Lego Star Wars sets. And definitely stay tuned for more Lego. So now I've got to unpack the city. And so I'll get right to that. But anyways, this is BrickWizard59. And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already. So this is BrickWizard59. And I'll see you all next time.